Bog Entertainment back with another episode review of Better Call Saul. We're back, guys. It's the final half of season six, and this one was called Point and Shoot. We have a major character death. But yeah, we kick off the episode. We've got a car out beside the sea. There's a few shoes. It's Hard's car. I caught on to this at the time, like, but I was kind of wondering, like, hmm, what's going on there? Um, but then we cut back to present time with, with Howard on the floor dead. We've got Kim. We've got Jimmy. They're both, you know, in hysterics. Lalo basically tells them to calm the fuck down. Come on. Come on. And then basically gives them instructions. Um, he basically says to Jimmy that he is going to go, start driving. He's going to go to this house, get the gun. He's got to get a camera to prove that this person's dead. He's got to open the door. This black guy's got to open the door with glasses. And that he's going to shoot him. But... Even though this well mastered plan we would would go according to plan if Jimmy went, Jimmy basically pleads his case for Kevin to go. Um, cause he's like, Well if a woman wraps the door at that time, yeah, he's not gonna feel threatened. Well if I start wrapping the door he's gonna feel threatened, which I mean, two things. One, he's obviously doing it. Jimmy like the real reason he did this was to get Kim out of harm's way. So she could um you know like maybe maybe just go. You know, like just fucking phone the police and then sacrifice Jimmy. Like he was never going to keep Lalo just stay in that apartment with him, uh, with her. I mean, you know. But even then, we quickly find out what happens to Lalo. Um, Kim's like, she's like, no, no, I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm not going. Then uh, basically, she decides to go. Uh, on the way there, she sees like a bunch of police officers. Doesn't really know what to do. She's like about to ask for help, but doesn't. And they just continue going. Uh, but then we basically get Jimmy. Gets fanged by Lalo, we get that scene where Jimmy's on the deck and he's like looking, it's like the scene where like Gus as he was lying on the uh, the swimming pool on his side. Then of course we had Walt do it when Hank got killed and now of course we've got Jimmy doing it here. I mean again, he was looking at hard so yeah. All those kids games that him and Kim were playing and then it got hard killed essentially. Hard to serve better but he got absolutely jobbed it, you know. But, as you can quickly tell here, Lalo has a different plan in mind. Because as Kim is about to, uh, the, as the door is about to be opened, Mike, from out of nowhere, shows up and basically brings Kim into the house. Uh, then she, like, breaks down. Gus is watching this on the monitors. And then, basically, Kim gives Mike all the information that she really, he really needs. And then, basically, she's like, oh... Oh, oh, he's going to kill Jimmy. He's like, Jimmy talked him out of him going. So okay. I mean, obviously Mike pushed the gal here, but hold on. If it was such an elaborate plan, it's clearly that he didn't, he didn't, Lalo didn't give a fuck about who went because he was just using it as an excuse to get to the, uh, the lab. And that's exactly what he was doing. Mike quickly puts that together. So Mike did it pretty smart. But what I didn't like about this is Kim turning around and saying, why didn't you help us? And it was like, fuck off, Kim. You know what I mean? Why didn't you help us? You're not... Mike is not your fucking personal security guard, like... You know what I mean? Like, uh, it's like, well, what in the... What the fuck are you supposed to do? I never really got that, to be honest. But as this is all going down, Mike warns... Goss over the phone, basically. Lalo then heads to, uh... The meth lab, uh, he basically waited for all the guards to leave it, and then he breaks into the laundromat. And then we're kind of like, right, what's going to happen here? Mike and Aldo and his crew, they head over to the apartment, they manage to free Jimmy, but then he manages to like, piece a timeline together, like, fuck Lalo straight left, straight after Kim, so basically fuck where's he away to. But during all this, basically Gus gets the inclination that Lalo must be at the meth lab, so he goes. And then once, he, like, once they're in there, Gus and his crew, he notices that one of the fence is like moving very slowly which of course we saw Lalo working on. Lalo then appears, drops all of Gus's henchmen, starts filming on the camcorder, starts making fun of Gus basically saying, oh look at you in the body armour. Which is pretty funny. During all this though, like Mike and all, his, Mike's figured it, but uh, Lalo then basically says it's going to be about 13 minutes before Mike and his buddies get here and they gringo get here. So let's do this quick. Basically, he shoots Gus in the chest, but of course Gus is wearing a body arm, but of course it would still hurt, you know what I mean? You're taking a fucking a bullet to the chest, you know, like, I mean, obviously it wouldn't hurt as much as actually getting shot, but 
That's just the way it is. No, 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 no. Things will never be the same. Uh, but yeah, the head down. Basically, Lalo's like, any last words? Basically, after explaining the whole math lab to Don Eladio. And then, Gus basically goes off on a rant, buries Don Eladio, you know, and then completely goes in on the style monk and says that he's proud that every time Hector's alive, every second he'll think of him. It was kind of like, it was well done, but it did just feel like they literally just copied nachos. I mean, I mean they are different, but surely if you're watching this episode, you think, fuck, we kind of just copied that. It was very good, but as we've seen, like, my, uh, there was, like, an emphasis on, like, an electrical cable, and, um, he, 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 he undid this in episode 5, but how the f did he, did he always assume that it was going to be a confrontation between him and Lalo in this lab? And I said ages ago that Lalo's going to end up dead and he's going to be buried in this lab, even though I think they probably would have used hydrochloric acid, but I guess at that point they didn't have it in the lab. But yeah, turns out, Gus... Gets the upper hand here on Lalo, hits the electrical thing, sparks go off, they fire bullets into each other. Gus does get hit, but he doesn't... I'm, I, I can't really recall if he actually got hit multiple times, but the body armour saved him. But he did get hit at least once, I know that, because he was bleeding. Um, and this killed Lalo, Lalo smiles. Bullets everywhere on him, and he smiles as he chokes on his own blood. And then Mike basically warns him. Gus, after he shows up, he's like, this could have went very differently. Gus then phones his wee buddy and Los Paul's romance. I won't be in there. There's been a personal matter. And then, yeah, that's basically the Lalo story arc done. And then, uh, yeah, we have Kim and Jimmy. Jimmy says, eventually, we'll wake up, we'll get dressed, and we'll realise we didn't think about it. And that's how the episode ends. For point and shoot. And, I mean, it's a good episode. I mean, I'm not going to completely and utterly bury it, but I just feel like they done Lalo dirty. Like, the pace of this season just seems very off. I feel like La Nacho died very early. Lalo's died almost too soon since he got brought back into the, the, the fray hangs. And, like, wh where are we going? We've got five episodes left. You know, like, what, is the next five episodes going to be Kim and Jimmy getting the grips? Well, uh, what, what, what just happened? I don't know, but, yeah, pretty sad. Hard gets buried in the same... Grave as Lalo in the lab, you would never have fucking guess that Walt and Jesse are working above those two. And again, like, how long is it taking them to build this lab? <laughs> like, actually complete it? It's fucking taking forever. But Mike here doesn't actually say to Jimmy that Lalo's dead, he just said Lalo ain't coming for them. Which, I mean, obviously, I mean, they're petrified, they would still think, oh fuck, Lalo's still alive. Mike's never gonna say that he's dead, you know, all that good stuff. But yeah, Lalo's dead, major character death. But again, like, with this problem with prequels, it's like, well, why is there, like, no mention of, like, Lalo's disappearance in Breaking Bad? You know? Like, nothing. <laughs> right? Ideally, you would have had, like, a scene where, like, where Gus is talking to Hector in Breaking Bad, he, like, says, like, what I've done to you, Lalo, and then say, like, a bunch of other shit that he's done. But no, it doesn't, I mean, it's just a bit of a mess. I've just shoved this character in. I mean, it doesn't completely derail the timeline of the story, but... It's more of a burden, you know, like when you try to piece it together, but it made for good TV this episode. I'll give it an 8 out of 10, but at the end of the day, you knew Gus couldn't die, and you knew Lalo was never making it out of the lab once he was in there, to be honest. But anyway, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Until next time, that'll do it for Point and Shoot. Until episode 9, peace.